Welcome to Creepy Narratives, where the whispers of the past meet the mysteries of the deep. Tonight, we journey to a rugged cliffside, home to an ancient lighthouse with a tale as haunting as the sea itself. This is the story of the lighthouse keeper's last watch, a saga of solitude, disappearance, and the eternal bond between a man and the beacon he swore to keep. As the waves crash against the shore and the wind howls through the night, join us in uncovering the legend of Old Man Jenkins, the keeper who vanished but whose spirit remains, guiding sailors away from peril. Where light meets dark, the keeper watches. Perched precariously on the edge of a jagged cliff that slices into the vast, tempestuous sea like a blade, stands an ancient lighthouse, this lighthouse, more than a mere structure, is a steadfast guardian of the treacherous waters it oversees. It rises, solitary and proud, against the backdrop of an ever-churning ocean that knows no mercy for the unwary sailor. Its walls, battered by centuries of salt and storm, hold the tales of countless ships guided safely to harbor, and of those it could not save, swallowed by the hungry waves. In the daylight, the lighthouse is a picturesque monument to human ingenuity and determination, its white paint gleaming under the sun, a stark contrast against the deep blue of the sea and the green of the grassy cliff. But as night falls, it transforms. The lighthouse becomes a beacon of hope in a world of darkness, its light a pulsing heart in the vast body of the ocean, beating steadily to guide the wayward home. This lighthouse is not just a symbol of safety and guidance. It is a keeper of secrets, a silent witness to the dramas that unfold on the waters it watches over. Among these secrets is the story of its last human guardian, Old Man Jenkins, whose fate became as intertwined with the lighthouse as the countless ships it has seen through perilous nights. Jenkins, known for his unwavering dedication to his duty, vanished one fateful stormy night, leaving behind a mystery as deep and restless as the sea itself. The lighthouse, with its flickering light, continues to perform its duty, undeterred by the passage of time or the advancements of technology that have rendered its human keepers obsolete. Yet the legend of Old Man Jenkins persists, a tale that adds a layer of mystique and solemnity to the lighthouse's stoic vigil. It stands as a testament to the human spirit, a beacon not just for ships, but for the timeless connection between mankind and the mighty sea. Old Man Jenkins, the lighthouse's last keeper, was as much a part of the rugged cliffside as the ancient lighthouse itself. With a life dedicated to the sea's safety, Jenkins was a figure of solitude, his presence as constant as the tides. The locals knew him as a man of few words, his conversations carried by the wind, shared with the seagulls and the endless horizon. His days were marked by the routine of maintenance and vigilance, ensuring the light never faltered, a solitary sentinel against the night's embrace. Jenkins's relationship with the sea was profound, born of respect and understanding for its power and beauty. He viewed his role not just as a job, but as a sacred duty a pact between him and the vast, mysterious depths that stretched out before his solitary outpost. Night after night, he climbed the spiral staircase to the lantern room, lighting the beacon that pierced the darkness, a guiding star for ships navigating the perilous waters. But one stormy night, a night that would etch itself into the lore of the coast, Old Man Jenkins vanished. It was a tempest that seemed to shake the very foundations of the earth, the sea roaring its fury, waves crashing against the cliff with relentless force. When the storm abated, the villagers found the lighthouse lantern still lit, its light cutting through the dawn mist. But of Jenkins, there was no sign. The door to the lighthouse was ajar, his lantern on the table, still glowing, as if he had just stepped out into the night. The mystery of his disappearance sparked whispers and speculation. Some said he was taken by the sea he loved, claimed by the depths in a final act of communion. Others whispered of his dedication, suggesting that his spirit remained, forever bound to the beacon he had tended so faithfully. 
but all agreed that Jenkins had become part of the lighthouse's legend, his fate intertwined with the tales of ships and sailors, storms and survival that the ancient structure had witnessed over its long vigil. In the wake of old man Jenkins' inexplicable disappearance, the ancient lighthouse stood more isolated than ever, its beacon a lone witness to the unfathomable secrets of the sea. The local community, bound by generations to the rhythms of the ocean, could not easily forget the keeper who had been as constant as the turning tides. His absence cast a long shadow over the cliffside, transforming the lighthouse from a symbol of safety to one of profound mystery. As days turned to weeks and weeks to months, the lighthouse continued its silent vigil, unmanned but for the automated light that now pierced the night. Yet, it was in the absence of human touch that the lighthouse began to reveal its hidden depths. Stories began to emerge, whispered at first, then spoken openly with a mixture of fear and awe. Sailors returning from their nocturnal voyages reported seeing a figure in the lantern room, a silhouette that moved with purpose, tending to the light with the familiar diligence that Jenkins had shown throughout his tenure. These tales were met with skepticism, dismissed by some as the fanciful imaginings of weary seafarers. But the stories persisted, growing in detail and conviction. The figure, they said, bore an uncanny resemblance to Jenkins himself, his ghostly form visible on nights when the fog rolled in thick, rendering the beacon all but invisible to those at sea. On such nights, the light seemed to shine with an intensity that defied the natural limitations of its automated successor, guiding ships through the impenetrable mist with an unerring precision that many attributed to the Lost Keeper's intimate knowledge of the coastline and its treacherous waters. The mystery of Jenkins's disappearance deepened with each sighting, intertwining his legacy with the lore of the lighthouse. The community, once unsettled by the thought of a haunting, began to find comfort in the idea that Jenkins continued to watch over them. The lighthouse, they surmised, had become more than a navigational aid. It was a bridge between the seen and the unseen, a place where the veil between worlds grew thin. This transformation of the lighthouse from a mere structure to a locus of supernatural activity captured the imagination of all who heard the tale. It stood as a testament to the enduring bond between the keeper and his charge, a bond not even death could sever. As the legend of Old Man Jenkins grew, so too did the lighthouse's significance, becoming a beacon not only for ships at sea, but for those seeking a connection to the mysteries that lie beyond the realm of the living. The transformation of the ancient lighthouse from a mere beacon into a symbol of eternal vigilance was not merely a tale to be told in hushed tones by the fireside. It became a lived experience for those who braved the treacherous waters off the rugged coast. The legend of old man Jenkins, the keeper who had seemingly merged his essence with the lighthouse, evolved from folklore to a comforting presence, a guardian spirit watching over the sea's travelers. Sailors, seasoned by the caprices of the ocean, began to recount tales of close encounters with disaster, only to be steered to safety by the lighthouse's guiding light, shining unnaturally bright through the thickest fogs and the darkest nights. They spoke of feeling a sudden warmth, a sense of being watched over and protected, as they navigated the perilous passages that had claimed many a vessel. The light, they claimed, seemed to possess an uncanny knowledge of the sea's hidden dangers, its beam focusing intently on hidden shoals and treacherous rocks, as if directed by the hand of Jenkins himself. These stories, passed from one crew to the next, wove a rich tapestry of the Keeper's enduring watch. Fishermen who had once cursed the unpredictability of the sea now cast their nets with a sense of security, believing in the protection offered by the lighthouse's sentinel. Families of sailors, accustomed to waiting anxiously for the return of their loved ones, found solace in the thought that Jenkins's spirit was a benevolent force, ensuring their safe passage home. The phenomenon of the guardian spirit, as Jenkins came to be known, transcended the boundaries of mere ghost story, embedding itself in the very culture of the coastal community. 
The lighthouse, once a solitary figure against the skyline, now represented a nexus of human and supernatural, a point where past and present, the material and the ethereal, converged. It was as if Jenkins had become one with the elements, his spirit infused with the wind and the waves, a custodian not only of the lighthouse, but of all who ventured near his domain. As the legend of the guardian spirit flourished, it attracted not only the reverence of the local populace, but also the curiosity of those far removed from the maritime life. The lighthouse became a beacon for the adventurous and the inquisitive, drawn by the allure of a real-life ghost story. Yet, to those who knew the sea, who lived and breathed its moods, the tale of Jenkins was more than mere curiosity. It was a testament to the unbreakable bond between man and the ocean, a reminder that some guardians never truly leave their post. The legend of Old Man Jenkins, the lighthouse keeper who vanished only to become the guardian spirit of the sea, wove itself into the very fabric of the coastal community. His story, transcending the passage of time, became a beacon of enduring legacy, casting light on the bond between man and the relentless sea. The lighthouse, once a solitary sentinel standing against the tempestuous elements, transformed into a symbol of timeless vigilance, its legacy enriched by the tales of Jenkins's spectral watch. Generations passed, and with them, the tale of Jenkins was handed down, growing richer with each retelling. The lighthouse, now automated, no longer required a keeper's hand to guide its light across the treacherous waters. Yet, in the hearts of those who lived in its shadow, the spirit of Jenkins continued to play a vital role. It was as if the lighthouse retained a piece of his soul, a fragment of the human spirit that technology could not replicate. The legacy of Jenkins and the lighthouse became a source of inspiration, a reminder of the resilience and dedication that defined the coastal community. It stood as a testament to the idea that some bonds, particularly those forged in the face of nature's fury, are eternal. The light that Jenkins tended to with such care continued to guide ships safely home, its beam a symbol of hope and protection against the backdrop of an often unforgiving sea. Moreover, the tale of the guardian spirit served as a bridge connecting the past to the present. It reminded the community of their heritage, of the courage and sacrifice of those who had come before. The lighthouse, with its beam piercing the darkness, became a focal point for gatherings, a place where stories were shared and the memory of Jenkins was honored. It was here that the values of perseverance, respect for the sea, and the importance of community were passed to the younger generations, ensuring that the legacy of the lighthouse and its last keeper would endure. As the legend of Old Man Jenkins became intertwined with the identity of the coastal community, it attracted the curious and the scholarly alike. Historians, folklorists, and paranormal enthusiasts sought to unravel the mystery of the Keeper's disappearance and the tales of his continued presence. Yet for those who called the coast their home, the truth of Jenkins's legacy needed no proof. It was felt in the spray of the sea, seen in the glow of the lighthouse light, and heard in the wind that whispered his name. As we draw the curtain on the tale of Old Man Jenkins, and the lighthouse that stands as a silent guardian on the rugged coast, we are reminded of the profound mysteries and the timeless bonds that the sea harbors. The story of the lighthouse keeper, who disappeared into the night only to become a part of the legend he helped keep alive, transcends the mere telling of a ghost story. It is a narrative woven into the fabric of the sea itself, a testament to the eternal watch kept by those who have devoted their lives to the safety of others. The lighthouse, with its unwavering light piercing through the darkest storms, stands not only as a beacon of physical guidance, but as a monument to the human spirit's resilience. The legacy of old man Jenkins, whose presence is felt in the ghostly silhouette seen in the lantern room, or in the sudden brightening of the light when danger is near, continues to inspire those who hear his story. It serves as a powerful reminder that, in the face of the vast and often unfathomable power of the sea, 
there is a strength and a perseverance that endures. This story, part of the larger tapestry of ghosts of the sea, paranormal stories from the ocean's depths, invites us to look beyond the horizon to the place where the sky meets the sea and ponder the mysteries that lie beneath the waves. It encourages us to listen to the whispers of the past, carried on the wind and the water, and to remember the souls who have left their mark on the maritime world. As we conclude this chapter and prepare to set sail into the next story, let us carry with us the spirit of Old Man Jenkins, the lighthouse keeper who never left his post. His tale, a beacon of courage, dedication, and the unbreakable connection between man and the sea, illuminates the path for those who follow. The ocean, with all its beauty and terror, continues to call to us, inviting us to explore its depths, to uncover its secrets, and to pay homage to those who watch over its travelers. The legacy of the lighthouse and its last keeper endures, a guiding light in the tales of the sea that are yet to be told. As the waves crash against the shore and the light shines out into the darkness, we are reminded that, in the heart of the ocean's depths, there are stories of mystery, of spirit, and of humanity waiting to be discovered. Ghosts of the Sea, Paranormal Stories from the Ocean's Depths, beckons us onward into the vast, mysterious waters of the unknown, where the echoes of the past meet the adventures of the future. And so, our journey through the maritime lore continues, each story a thread in the rich tapestry of the sea's eternal narrative. Thank you for sailing with us through the chilling tale of the Lighthouse Keeper's Last Watch, part of our series, Ghosts of the Sea, Paranormal Stories from the Ocean's Depths. Old Man Jenkins's story is but one of many that ripple through the waters of the North Atlantic, where every wave tells a tale and every gust of wind carries a secret. If you felt the call of the sea and the echo of its mysteries, stay with us. There are more tales to be told, more secrets to be unveiled. Subscribe, share, and keep your lanterns lit, for our journey into the ocean's depths is far from over. Beyond the horizon, the sea whispers tales of the lost and the watching,